start off with a uh, weight shift in three planes of motion while you're in a stride stand. So you want to make sure you hold on to something for balance. Bring your one foot as far forward as you can in front of the other one, and then shift your weight forward and back first. You're going to get ten of these, then side to side where you're kicking your hips left and right, and then the third one is like a swivel. So you're going to take your hips and turn them in and turn them back out. Try to get ten each, then switch legs, go through the same thing. So that's the first three moves. Second three is a little bit more dynamic because we'll be swinging the arms. So again, stand near something you can hold on to, get in as long of a stride stance as you can balance in, and then swing your arms. So you want to make it a big enough swing that you get some rotation through your trunk. Your back foot tends to toe out, so try to keep your feet facing straight forward. Second one is a side to side swing. So you're going to swing them side to side. And if you get them going far enough, you want your hips kind of following behind. So it's like swing this way, swing this way. The third move is a rotational move. So take both hands and rotate them to one side, rotate them to the other. So you can see my belt buckles turning too. So your hips, you want your hips turning, just lagging a little bit behind your hands. So your hands will go a little bit further than your hips. That's the second three moves. The third three is a dynamic lunge. So now you're going to move your foot. Stand near something like a table, step out, return, and then switch. So just forward step, return, forward step, return. Second move here will be a side lead. Step to the side, come back, step to the other side. It's safer to just do one leg over and over again. So if you have to hold on to something and there's not enough room to go to both sides, just do 10 on the one side, 10 on the other. The third move here is rotate. So you're going to rotate, open up, and then come back. Open up, then come back, same thing to the other side, 10 times each. And then the fourth thing that we did was a pivot. So now you're going to pivot, I'm going to show you from the side, you're going to step forward and then back. This is the forward and back pivot. The side to side pivot is open and then close off. Crossing your feet is going to be a little bit tough, but if you just work yourself in and out this way, that would be the side to side pivot. So that's the fourth exercise progression. Try to go through each one 10 to 20 times, not three times a day. 